night. So today is the day we've been waiting on. And uh, you can see the bees out about. I've had to move them outside the fence, and I'll show you why. I've noticed this over the last few weeks, but then it got really, really bad. The, uh, <laughs> the ground was melting in front, and so those beehives were leaning forward more and more and more, and I think if I would have waited one more day, they would have done a face plant right on the ground. And so I had to move them all outside. It's already forming around me. So let's take a look inside, and, and let's, uh, we're gonna do a real deep dive on the, uh, on the beehives. We're gonna uh, probably uh, take the uh, winter wrapping off, and then we're going to uh, do a real good health assessment and see how we're doing. So let's take a look. I'm not seeing any brood yet, but look closely, you'll see my queen. Uh, she just got buried. That's a little Saskatraz. So this is my Saskatraz one. Uh, which was one of my, I'll say weaker ones, I'll say my smaller ones going into the winter. And so it appears that she has uh, survived and uh, I think they're clearing out and getting ready to let her go to work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these right back towards the middle. And I think that's as far as I'm gonna go on this one. Let me, I'll finish cleaning up the top of the hives, but I got the down inside cleaned. I put a shim underneath the back to raise the back up so any moisture will run out the front. And I took the entrance reducer off for now. I'll put that back on later today. I just want them to get in there and kind of clean everything out. This one's just a really, really nice one. This was the, uh, the strong one that I want to make my queens from this year. And uh, now we got a lot of food, lots and lots of food. Well, we may even be to the point where uh, I might be honey bound almost, so we'll pull back just a little bit on the food and then kind of go from there. I'll have to pick the bottom board off again. Look at this. Beautiful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh. Oh, I got cat brood. I don't know if you could see that or not. They're down there keeping it, keeping it from chilling. Love it. Yeah, this one's uh, gonna be, it's gonna come out of the winter powerful. We're gonna have to uh, make sure that this one is watched very carefully because we don't want a bunch of swarms. And we want this to really be, uh, you know, the basis for our future hives. Because this one, this one last year was our, uh, was our best hive by far. And uh, we just loved everything about it. So. See a lot of brood on this one, but a bit over here. A little bit of brood. Like it. Like it a lot. So let's go ahead and we'll close this one back up. We'll finish cleaning off the top, and then uh, I might uh, go ahead and empty out that bottom again because it's all that sugar and stuff falling down in. We'll get that one cleaned up. Okay, so that was two. I had to move this forward a little bit just to get it a little bit more level and, and almost lean it forward a little bit just so any uh, moisture kind of drains out the front. And the same thing I did with this one. So let's get into this one now. And this one is, I'm not holding out much hope for this one. And in fact, I may go ahead and count it as a dead out. We'll see once I dig in. Yeah, I'm gonna vigorously look for the queen any signs of health or life or vitality I guess is the word I'm using for looking for. So, let's see. Definitely plenty of food in it. Not succumb to starvation, that's for sure. Food everywhere. Let's see. Food, food, and more food. 
all kinds of food. All this stuff cleaned up. Again, tons and tons of food. Looks like they've been packing the dry sugar in too. Let's see what this side is. Same thing. Food. So they're closing in on the cluster now, so let's see what we got. Oh, what a mess down in down inside. What a mess. Alright, so we're gonna have to clean up here. Right, I'm gonna have to put the camera down and then we'll come back and I'll show you what I did. So this one is very, very irritable. I went through a few of the high uh, the frames and I uh, I can't see any sign of the queen, which probably tells the story. So we're gonna uh, go ahead and close it up for now and then we'll come back later and then see if we can uh, determine if they just lost their queen in the middle of the winter, which is what my assumption is. But we'll see. Again, absolutely no problem with these guys starving. If I didn't know how much of that was sugar and how much of it was honey, I'd harvest some of this for myself right now, but uh, I might actually pull out this frame and take it back and see, but, uh, and then give them an empty one just to kind of give them something to do. Cause I got a ton of food here. Looks like every one of these frames in here are the same way. But I've got to create room for that queen to start laying. So they need to be able to get in there and make room for the brood. All right, same thing, only I pulled out two frames of honey out of that one. It just had so much in it and it was so heavy that I, uh, I'm gonna redistribute and then uh, maybe take this honey and put it in the freezer or something if I don't need it. So let's move on to the next one. This would be what? One, two, three, four, hive number five. Loving it. Trying to get a little testy here, so I may stop for now, let them calm down a little bit. Uh, we got about half of them done. We might come back a little bit, see how they're doing. But I, uh, they get a little bit testy for me, and I, much as I like being down the bee yard, I'm not a big fan of having swarms of bees all over me. Yeah, see them coming right at me. So we're gonna we're gonna calm down and we're gonna take a break.